Hey, hey, hey guys, welcome back to another video on the Smartcraft server. And in today's episode, as you can probably tell, off camera, I managed to get most of the house done. We have the roof, and I ended up going with spruce planks, as you can probably tell, for the walls upstairs. I thought it'd break it up a bit. Well, like clear is going to be done in 25 seconds. Never mind. So up there, you can tell I need to get the bone mill for the white dye. To then do the windows. But if I come down here quickly. And come down into my old little hobbit hole. Oh, there we go. Oh, sugarcane's growing. That's good to see. I have moved 90% of the items up there. I've left the crafting table so I can do food crafting. This farm is temp until I get the other part of the base set up. And down here, like we know, is where I go mining. That will be changed later on. So let's quickly head up to bed. Well, to the bed, I should say. So, like I say, I need to get the white bone meal for the windows so I need to go hunting for skeletons oh that's quick but I have moved the items over and yeah I haven't put a door on this thing yet because I have literally only just finished it so as you can see I have actually done a tiny bit of sorting All the decorative blocks and enchanted books are going down here at the moment. The snow, which will be used soon. We've got the saplings, or oh, most things that can be farmed. And gravity blocks with a bit of flint. Over here, on the other hand, we have all the seeds. And should can I class as a seed because you plant it and it grows more of itself. This one, we have three golden apples and most of the foods so I'll put sugar in there eventually smokers this barrel's empty for later on and in here we have most of the mob drops around here is empty now and if you guys are wondering why the torch is there oh I haven't got it on I have a light level indicator on it comes in great use but if you guys are wondering why the torches are there until I get end rods I can't really do fancy lighting I might put glowstone in the floor down here and then put a carpet but up the top here it's a bit harder because the floor is only one thick so yeah it's a bit more of a pain in the bum but uh, like I said I'll probably use end rods upstairs but like I say in today's episode hopefully we'll be getting the other half of the base sorted so I haven't done a hidden staircase yet I'll be doing that in the future but if I quickly show you down here I'm gonna turn that off come over here and jump down cool. down here I'm gonna probably come down do like a open area in there probably have a quarry just dug out by hand going down to bedrock etc well not down to bedrock exactly but yeah you get the idea but I'd have a tunnel which goes underground and probably most of this ice spiked I will be mining well where I am standing and then I'm going to place a mahoosive and I mean a mahoosive igloo which probably going to be 25 blocks tall maybe even taller but then inside I'm going to have it so it goes down so we're 
retrospect so this here is like the main level which is block 64 so imagine it goes up to um, around about block 70 let's uh, so I say it's 64 I'm just going to clear chat every and D so we're in block 64 at the moment I mainly want to take that to roughly about 80 which is 16 blocks which I think would actually be bringing it close to the section there but then with it so it would be from block 80 to let's say block 50 so that's a 30 block tall igloo from base to top which then I'll be able to grow like some of the tall trees in such as like the spruce tree there dark oak be growing mostly any of this like small trees so like dark oak minimum you have to have a 2x2 two two sapling I'll probably use the single saplings for the rest and then probably build a few of them so like one igloo here one igloo over there another igloo over here one of them will be for villagers because there is a few villages over to the southwest kind of area I think or well I know there's a few villages around but the igloos as well would also be used if any of you guys want to come over and live with me yes I'm talking to you as the viewers if you guys want to join the server and you don't have anywhere to live for the time being I'll probably start a whole community up over here knowing my luck but have one for players who have just joined the server they have a bed, somewhere to sleep they can place uh, their own chests and then when they get themselves sorted they can move on cultivate like the land build a house and yeah move their stuff over and then that bed will probably stay there in the igloo so anybody else who wants to come over they can go in and live but I will separate it up in two different rooms it's all a case and wait and see really on what happens and hopefully there won't be any trouble because yeah I don't want to be dealing with it and I do not want to kick anybody away from here but if times come to that then yeah I will be a bit ruthless but like I say with the whole area it is just see how it goes and then probably have a journalist mining area for the people who decide to join probably do something similar on the builders block server so if people want to come over and live with me and SGT they can but it means that there will be like a different area because the main base is going to have farms which probably will be public and other things which are not public so like private uh, I don't even know really we'll have to see on that but if you guys are like the suggestion of like having a public area for this area and on builders block please leave a comment down in the description saying what kind of thing you'd like to see on either the smartcraft server or builders block server as I'd love to hear you guys feedback and yeah eventually I hopefully will get a few silk touch pickaxes and I'll probably be building packed ice mixture of snow probably even make some blue ice with the stuff especially with simple ice farms because you can use the ice to make packed ice and from packed ice into blue ice and I have got it here so if I quickly click here if I type ice 
you can use the nine ice to make one packed ice and one blue ice is nine packed ice. So it is technically you can have infinite ice, well packed ice and blue ice. It's infinite. You can make infinite wind, uh, water sources. You can make infinite snow from snow golems. So yeah, at the end of the day, you have infinite ice and in snow materials. Which is going to be quite fun for building igloos. Especially with building an ice igloo. That's going to be a pain in the bum, but. Anything for you guys. Trust me, I love the challenge. So, with the whole situation here with the whole snowy plains. Well, snow plains, we have snow tiger, I think it is. Or uh, snowy tiger, I don't know. Uh, snowy tundra, what is it called? We have a snowy river or fro frozen tiger. Yeah, it is a frozen tiger. Okay, I am just uh, doubting myself. F3, not F5. <laughs> but a simple ice farm can go a long way. If you make it a 9x9, nine nine, that's 81 packed ice. Which then you get 9 packed ice. Or a 9x9 nine nine will either equal 81 ice. 9 packed ice. Or 1 blue ice but with that I'll probably build it so it's a bit more automated so I have made a system before where I've used dispensers observers etc and I've done it so it's a single tick generator so it does a double pulse so let's say the piston pushes something the signal goes round pushes pistons up so say ah, it's confusing observers when you get an update they let our redstone signal and that redstone signal travels round to a piston that pushes up which sends us another signal Instead of keep doing that, it keeps pushing the piston up. Piston up. I made a system which transferred the item, so it would activate two things. It would activate a either the pistons or a dropper. I think it was, and the item would depend on where it is would say yes send the redstone signal round to the piston or no don't send pistons up it took me about half an hour to figure it out because I made a huge it was to the max of the pistons concrete farm so in the case you placed it it'd push it along and it would layer by layer build it up I don't know if I still have a picture of it or if I still have the world I'll probably have to go through my memory sticks and see if I have it because if I do then I'll probably show it in a later video because yeah I don't know if anybody else came up with that design like of um, observer kind of technique I'll have to search it up on YouTube but when observers were first introduced I was working on stuff like that so when concrete etc was introduced observers were introduced it was like a game changer for us redstoners it added so much into the game it added so many more possibilities that it was kind of crazy and just using simple mechanics to kind of build a farm was quite amazing so I'm going to quickly go through my memory sticks and see if I actually have the world. If I don't, then yeah, I'll be back on Smartcraft. But if I do have the world, I'll catch you guys over there. 
So, I'll see you guys in about 10. And we're back guys, and as you can see, we're on a flat world. Sadly, I was not able to find why well, I actually managed to build it. Well, when I last managed to build it, I looked through my memory sticks, I looked through previous world saves. I could not find it for the life of me. For the life of me. For the life of me? For the life of me. So, either I lost the world or. Yeah. I did contact one of my friends. Sadly, they don't have the world, so cannot even use that as a template. So I'm gonna try my best to recreate it. This is a dropper, and then uses three hoppers. On one side, you have a comparator going into a repeater, and you need a random block. On this side, and I think the torch would have gone here. And you need the main observer, which I want to say actually set about here. Uh, not there. It was in line. With the. If I actually. Have remembered how to build this, then I'm going to be impressed. Because, yeah, this has been a while. Um, right. So, chuck the grass block in here. So it's just working out the delay. I've just built it. So the block gets pushed and then it gets removed. And just to prove it to you. Let's run it into a piston. regular old simple piston and you can see it doesn't stay in there, it stays in the hopper so for how simple it is and I can even do a quick tutorial on it The main size, as you can probably tell, the actual contraption you need five. By four. And yeah, no, I've done a five by five there. So all it is is you're building a two-way tick, tick signal. So for the first tick, it registers. Yes, I'm getting a signal. Can I move the block? It, no, I don't know how to really pronounce it. This is more mumbo jumbo's kind of stuff. But this was a thing that I come up by myself. I don't know if there is any other creations like it. If there is, then yeah, please tell me in the comments. But as you guys saw, it is just one of the simplest things to build now that I remember how to do it. 
then yeah, you can see normally it goes straight in. So you need to <coughs> place the torch here to lock the hopper. And then from here, one, two, redstone dust. Excuse me. There. And you could either, like I have, got it there, or you can have it so it's actually on the same level as a dispenser, and you have it so it updates like that. Or like I have it, so I have it, so it goes into a block, which then does it. So then you can move the system down. But it's really choice preference and what you want. So you have both versions. Both require the same amount of blocks. So in total, the whole build. Three hoppers, three repeaters, comparator, torch, three redstone, an observer, a dropper, and about seven random blocks, depending on how you're doing it. I'd say I'll give myself extra here. I give myself way too many. You only only need two, depending on what you're doing. But always good to have extra blocks because you never know what you're going to work with. But again, surely it all works. Grab a piston. Place your damage block. Grab the redstone. Now the reason I'm doing it like that is because Well it would help if I actually had the block in there. <laughs> like I said. It works every single time. Now the way I used this redstone mechanic was actually in a concrete farm which uses pistons and you push it from left to right when that gets to max it pushes it from north to south and it uses max pistons And you could set it up so it's fully AF cable. So you have it so you have ginormous concrete pile from here to however tall you want it. And you have it so it fills up and then when it gets empty, pushes along. Fills up, pushes along. Empties, pushes along. Fills it all up. And you can do stuff like that. If you guys want to see a tutorial, on how to build the concrete farm I made leave it down in the description yes I know this is a bit late and there is loads of designs of concrete farms but mine was basically AF cable you could place loads of concrete and go away really do what you want to do come back top it up go back and do what you want to do you could even do it so you have it so it's set up multiple times and um, yeah but I've kind of rambled on for the best part of this video so I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you want to see a tutorial on how to build the concrete farm like I say it's 1.15 concretes came out in 1.12 so yeah if you guys want to see that leave it down in the description and yeah I'm actually surprised that I remember how to build it. 
I thought I'd lost the design forever because I spent about an hour trying to figure it out coming to the video. What happens? Figure it out first time. Sometimes I overcomplicate it in my mind. But yeah, you can see you've got two designs. You you have the bit more like I don't even know how to really describe it. You've got the slightly more compact by a block. Yeah. That one multiple level. This one single level. But yeah, it's up to you guys. So as you know I've probably rambled on for way too long. I don't even know how long this is gonna be. So yeah, I hope to catch you guys in the next episode of Well, Smartcraft. And yeah. Hopefully I'll have some more videos up for you soon. So Hope you guys are all doing well with this whole coronavirus. And I'll catch you guys in the next episode of Smartcraft. Bye.